What's going on campers? Right now I am laying inside of the 2023 Little Guy Mini Max. This is the Rough Rider edition and this actually has two solar panels on top instead of one. I want to walk around the camper, show you what this thing has to offer. Right now let's go over some specs just so we can get that out of the way. The dry weight on this thing is 2320 and that's as far as pounds go, so 2320 pounds. The dry tongue weight on this is 240 pounds. Overall length, 17.2, so that is a length including the tongue. Um, overall width, six foot nine inches. Exterior height is nine foot one, and that's including everything on top with the Rough Rider package, um, includes the air conditioner as well. So the interior height is six foot. Uh, I am six two and I'm fine in here. You know, obviously I'm bending over, moving my head a little bit, but beyond that, I'm still comfortable. The gross vehicle weight, so with all of our cargo in here, all loaded up, full water, um, 3,500 pounds, still light. Fresh water, uh, 19, 20, 19 to 20 gallons. Um, gray water, 25 to 30 gallons. And black water, 9 gallons. So, this is the little guy Mini Max. So right now, as we're inside, let's just go right around. I'm laying in the bed right now. This does fold up into a U-shaped dinette. Take that out. Then you have this. This pushes back. And then you have the lagoon table right here too. All right. Over in the back here, we've got our Stargazer window. That's a huge fan favorite. Everybody loves those things. Lots of windows in this unit. Beautiful cabinetry. Right in the bed area or the uh, huge sitting area, we have the TV, charging station. This is ran off the USB or ran off the 12 volt battery. Above, furnace and air conditioning right here smoke detector that over there that's blinking is our solar that's our solar controller reading light also have a reading light on the other side speakers inside and right here showing that beautiful cabinetry above Down below. Stereo. Countertop space. Shelving. We've got all the lights and the 12 volt fan. Air conditioner right above my head. Right behind me. Is a nice shelving unit right up in the front of the camper with a couple little cubby holes in the corners. Then the kitchen area with a huge deep stainless steel sink, the faucet. Faucet comes out too as a sprayer. Go over to the two burner stove. All the windows are operable. They have screens that go down, blinds that come up, they open and close. They have little center spots that you can actually put the window in there that are still safe and secure, but they uh, keep back the condensation for you. Over here shows the door. As I open the door, I just want to point out that it has a screen door on it too. Next to the door over here, we have our control panel, which is giving us our water, water heater, water pump levels, all the lights and the step lights. Right underneath that, fire extinguisher, 
And down here is all of our uh, electronics and, you know, outside shower and cable and remote power cord. Then we're going into the underneath the portion of the kitchen. Then we'll go into the bathroom. This is a wet bath. You'll see right up front, we have our shower and our shower head and the water, and then our toilet. All right, now on to the other side. As we walk onto the outside, you'll notice the handle. This does have a handle and a step light. Nice aluminum step on here. Aluminum, well, this is a magnetic door, but it's also aluminum as well. So there is a magnet in there that, uh, that makes it stop. I do know that the aluminum is not magnetic, but they added that in there as well. Four stabilizer jacks all the way around. Manual tongue jack. This is our propane tank cover. This is also where you put the battery. There is a disconnect switch over here on the, on the frame. Ice didn't even fall off. All right, manual tongue jack up front, two inch ball to connect it with, seven pin round wiring for the towing. This does have a breakaway brake and electric brakes on it. All right, going over here, we've got corner marker lights all the way around, exhaust up top for your uh, bathroom. Um, vent for your air conditioner. No, this is a vent for your fridge. My apologies. Other vent for the fridge. Porch light right here. Down below, we're looking at the beautiful fancy wheels with the all-terrain tires that come with the Rough Rider package. To the left of that is going to be your dump station, which is what this fancy thing is. Gray is okay. Black is for crap. Gray is okay. Black is for crap. All right, then we get over into this. Going 30 amp power cord. That's right inside underneath your control panel. This is your water. Uh, let's see. I don't have this unlocked, but inside of here. Oh, let's see if I have the key. Underneath is a coaxial cable. I do not have the key, but this is your water. So this is your city water and your fresh water connection here. Coaxial cable underneath is going to be for satellite or cable if they offer that at the hotel or, or at the campground. Water heater, electric gas DSI, which means you really don't have to touch it until you winterize it or something breaks. When you turn it on, you just go inside and flip the switch. DSI stands for direct spark ignition, which is just easy word way of saying electrical. This right here, oh man, things are sticky right now because it's cold. This is your outside shower with hot and cold water. Underneath your low point drains. Going on to the back side. You're going to see that this has the receiver for a, you know, a hitch. You could throw like a bike rack on the back or a storage rack on the back. Um, it does hold up to 150 pounds. That includes your rack and your cargo. 
Right here is the backup camera. On the outside over here, we've got a huge storage area. Magnetic doors. Furnace exhaust. Outside propane. Just in case you want to connect like a outside fire pit or an outside grill. Or outside fire pit. Outside furnace, outside uh, propane heater. I've seen multiple different accessories that connect to the outside propane connection. But mostly people use the grills. Right here is a 110 power outlet with the USBs. Outside TV mount so you can bring your TV from inside right outside. And right there is the plug-ins to plug in your TV. Up top, we've got our AM FM stereo receiver antenna and our outside uh, outside light. So that right there is a 2023 Little Guy Minimax. Again, this one has two solar panels on top, which is a rarity. Solar panels are options. So they always come wired for solar, but don't always have solar. And then this also has the Rough Rider package on it which is the off-road tire package. I hope you all liked the video. Please check out my other ones and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.